what 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 <laughs> what's going on guys big vp back one of the game case arcades video on this one today we got super shacks 27 inch mid-size arcade going out to far rockaway So the month of August, apparently, everybody just wants either a sports theme or a athlete on their cabinet. Um, we're gonna be talking about Super Shack just real quick again in the garage. You can see I already got another 32 inch right there was Jordan, but a little sneak peek on this one. We actually have a soccer one going on for this 32 inch. Can't give too much detail on that, but yeah, the month of August, it looks like athlete month. Um, just got an order in for somebody in Ohio. We're gonna be doing a Kobe Bryant theme cabinet in the next I would say a couple of days to a week. So insane. Uh, I guess August is athletic month uh, for the Olympics and all that too. So whatever, I don't care. My job is to make sure you guys enjoy your arcade and I design the artwork and all that. But on this one, we do have Super Shacks 27 inch midsize with a riser cabinet. Really cool theme. This is King versus God. So this is pretty cool. It's kind of not a long story, um, but it's kind of funny how the artwork played out on this. So. Basically, the customer didn't have social media. I believe he found me on YouTube and then it went from YouTube to my website to my Google Voice number. Um, when he messaged me here, I was designing the Jordan cabinet that I just posted that a lot of people are going nuts for it. Uh, I appreciate all the great comments on that Jordan cabinet. Um, so he messaged me and I, uh, he messaged me. I sent him pictures of like, hey, I'm doing this Jordan cabinet. And we were still discussing like artwork. He wanted like multi cave theme. It was kind of funny, once I mentioned Jordan, he was like, no, LeBron James is the king, I want LeBron James on my cabinet. And I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, I guess the Jordan cabinet inspired you to do an athletic theme and he did want LeBron James, but it was actually very funny. I have all the text, it's hilarious. He really wanted to make sure that LeBron James was overtaking or overpowering Jordan, meaning he wanted LeBron James to really be number one, the GOAT. I'm not into sports, don't comment. I do not, I, not that I don't care, I, I don't know that much. You could say whoever's better, I don't care. My job is to just have your vision and put it on an arcade cabinet, that is my job. So I just thought it was kind of funny how it went from, hey, I'm doing this Jordan cabinet, check it out, and it's like, hey, I want LeBron now. Um, so we were honestly going back and forth on a lot of revisions on artwork. Left side alone, maybe it took about two days um, I had a couple ideas, he had a couple ideas. But now the big thing that was kind of crazy was that we got the left side down, which was LeBron, and we were trying to figure out the right side stuff, and it was gonna be basically like a multi cave theme. Uh, then it went into God of War. He was a very big God of War fan. I'm a big God of War fan too. So it went into God of War. Then it suddenly went to, hey, let's try superheroes, Superman, Hulk. Um, then it went into God of War, Superman, Hulk, Goku, uh, it was it was it was a little bit of a back and forth if I show you real quick how many revisions I've done I'll even flash them on the screen right now um, You could see how many revisions I did not that I'm complaining that is perfectly fine uh, You know people start out with an idea and a vision and then you know usually when they do CR work They go you know what it wasn't what I was thinking about let's swap it I don't charge for that like I don't you could do as many revisions as you want just understand that it does take time meaning you want to revise and revise and revise. I usually say that these cabinets take about two to three weeks to build, but if our work takes about a week and a half to do alone, now the two to three weeks starts once I place the order for the cabinet. So all in all though, it is perfectly fine. Customer is happy. Again, I do not, I never complain because that is my job. I want to make sure that you, the customer, enjoy your arcade cabinet. Whether I have to do 100,000 revisions, whether I have to do a bunch of tutorial videos, or whether if I have to actually sit down and live stream and show you everything, that's just what I love about doing this. I get a big kick out of it all the time. It's not really work to me. It's just, I, I enjoy the hell out of it. I'm really happy people are liking the artwork. That's like the coolest thing. I got so much feedback from Michael Jordan's cabinet. Um, person from Ohio and I was doing a Kobe Bryant cabinet. So you wanna talk about basketball goats. Um, <laughs> we're doing, a, I'm doing a bunch of basketball themes. So. That's pretty cool. He loved the Michael Jordan theme. Um, again, this customer loved the Jordan stuff, but he, uh, not Jordan, yeah. This customer loved, I'm sorry, I'm thinking about basketball now. This customer loved the Jordan stuff, but he's like, Vic, I gotta get LeBron on that. You gotta, you gotta make sure LeBron is overtaking and all that. So obviously I shot a promo video for this. So you can definitely check that out. But right now let's take a closer look at the artwork on this one. 
So I don't know if you guys noticed it, but I finally got rid of that fridge. <laughs> that fridge is gone that was holding my team holding. That's all the team holding that was in my fridge. So I was like, I was that, that big fridge was just in the way. Finally got rid of it. I'm working with a company. Um, might be looking at doing some CNC stuff in here, some pretty unique stuff. I'm trying to work with this company to try to give me, not for free, maybe a discount, um, but I can't talk too much about it. But basically it's supposedly able to go on the wall. Um, you might kind of already know what company I'm thinking about. If you look up like, you know, limited space CNC's. So that I'm hoping will come soon so I could start cutting my own wood. So now real quick, let's just take a look at it head on. Again, King versus God. Um, basically when I was looking up LeBron James um, artwork, uh, or I should say files from Google, it was always referencing King James. So I thought about, hey, let's do King and then God of War is God. So I basically thought of King versus God. Uh, I thought it was a really cool idea. Customer definitely loved it. It's definitely a great way to tie in the, the two sides. Um, but yes, again, artwork, high resolution is a must. It's a very big deal. I'm gonna show you something about this LeBron picture right here. Um, but again, it's really, it, I know it's a little bit difficult. There was a lot more LeBron James pictures than Michael Jordan, but there was a lot of pictures of LeBron James, a lot of him on a throne. The other big thing with you know LeBron is that you got him from the, on the Cavs, you got him on the Heat, you got him now on the Lakers, I believe. So it's like, you know, do you want one team? Is it okay if we multi, we do multi-team stuff? A lot of stuff. So again, first picture really I found was this first one, which is King James. A lot of King James all over, all over the place. He definitely loved this little quote that says, long live the king. It's like insane as far as artwork. I do like this. So you do have a very nice purple and Laker theme. So purple and yellow on the bottom. Then it kind of comes up. So this was basically stock background stuff with LeBron James dunking a ball. He did want a lot of like passion and fierce and ah on this cabinet. So found some really good pictures. This one was really good. He loved this one because it's LeBron overtaking Jordan. So he was like, Vic, yes, this is a must. He sent me this picture here. This picture of LeBron on the throne. Sadly though, it's not totally a high resolution picture. It looks great on the camera. It's not bad. It's just, it looks like some, one of those things that it's like artwork that like either somebody like did and like painted. Cause if you look very carefully, you could kind of see like these lines. That's not from the print. That's just the actual artwork file. So what's really funny with this, I'm gonna see if you can notice it. I'm gonna just hold that there. You got LeBron James and in the original picture, there was a lion here. Basically photoshopped out the lion's face or I should say erased the lion's face. And we got MJ. He wanted to make sure this was here. He's like, Vic, I need this. He's like, I love this idea with the meme. I gotta make sure that LeBron is over Jordan. So again, I, I don't I don't care. I'm not going into athletic politics. This is what the customer wanted. And I think it came out pretty cool. Again, same thing, big deal when it comes to the blending. Gotta have it nice and clean. Not hard lines. You never really wanna do hard lines. Uh, you could even see like here what I mean. Basically, if you think about it, this is one image, two, three, and then the meme. So it's like, you know, I do put a nice little black behind it. So it's not like a one straight line. It does, the eraser tool does a lot. So that is LeBron's side there. I'll work on the right side now, which is the God of War themed collaboration. Um, so again, God of War was a big deal. The big thing about God of War though, is that you do have your classic Kratos. Everybody understands Kratos, original Kratos, but then you also have the newer God of War, um, which to me, he looks totally different. You know, this is the one where it's like, boy, I, all day every time i look at god of war i just think about boy and um <laughs> the big thing is that i did want to mainly focus on original kratos on this so i found a great basically a desktop background of kratos got a good clean version of god of war logo so basically he's on the bottom and then up top is the superheroes so amazingly i did find this which is really cool it was hulk versus kratos and it's like kratos on top of the hulk Superman, another big thing is like Superman, you have comic book Superman, you have movie, like real life Superman, so many different versions. Same thing with the Hulk, you have comic book cartoon style, or you got like the 3D rendered 
real life Hulk. So when it comes to artwork, there's a lot of playing. I feel like this is a great um, Goku. I, I'm, I'm hoping that's the right character. I mean, got Super Saiyan. Uh, I'm hoping it's Goku. I hope I don't look like an idiot, but this was really cool. Definitely great, high resolution. As you could see, clean. You got also uh, Superman versus the Hulk here. So this is a pretty good resolution. Not too bad. Let me just see. No, honestly, on this side, it's great. The big things that's always difficult is logos. So like God of War from here looks great, but when you do get a little bit closer, you do get the pixelation. In all honesty, this wasn't a PNG file. I had to erase out the background, and then you do see like the black shadow that I put behind the wording. So a lot of work to be done. Same thing here again with my eraser tool. Again, right side is really cool. I'll look at the riser later on. Now, if you look at the middle of it, this is basically my like, my, I'm a big, I'm a big thing of like, it's got to merge together. You can't have like a pink left and then like a green right and then like, you know, black in the middle. It's got to merge in together. So I do like how I did the right side. So check this out. You got Kratos here. You got Super Saiyan here. But then it's like this kind of bleeds over to like the Superman. So when you do stand here, it looks like it bled over. That's like always what I always aim to do. It's got to be clean. So the big thing again, I was going with this King versus God, right? And then I sent them a picture of like, hey, what happens if I take LeBron and I split him and then we do Kratos, kind of like a face on. Very difficult to find a picture like this. Really, it's two pictures and then a racer tool. Super difficult. I could only work with this one LeBron picture that was basically from the Lakers. And I think I blended it pretty well, even like to the mouth and the nose. I think it's pretty cool. He like went nuts. He's like, Vic, that's insane. I love it. Big thing was like, he did like, evil like rage and and brah so it's like if you kind of look carefully like you know you got lebron here with like the flame eyes again a lot of yelling same thing here when it came to like god of war like ah 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 you know a lot of a lot of that so check this out like for example this is actually the injustice superman just when you go into like artwork you could see all the different varieties that's why you know i do get in depth do you want classic comic book superman do you want like 3D rendered Superman, same thing with the Hulk here. 3D rendered versus comic book. A lot of stuff goes into artwork. It's never a simple copy and paste thing. Marquee, I think, looks awesome. Basically went with, again, same theory. You got Superman here, Goku, Hulk. I love this Kratos picture I got. So it's like him just, you know, really face on with LeBron. Same thing, he did love this, like LeBron with the flame eyes. This is LeBron throwing up the chalk right in the middle king versus god really like awesome stuff as far as the bezel bezel i kept it clean blue kind of like electric waves and then orange reddish electric wave just to tie in everything now with all customers i always ask them i go listen do you have a nickname and he goes yeah vic i'm super shack so basically made his own custom Super Shack logo. So I do have it right here and I do have it on the front plate, we call it. So on the front, same thing, using this kind of wave, blue and orange kind of wave. Um, as you can see, it ties in with the bezel. It's cool, it's not overpowering. You got LeBron 23. We do have again, Goku, and then you do have the kick plate. I'm pretty happy with this kick plate, it's awesome. Luckily I found this one, it's really one, two, it's three separate images right here. This was great, I mean, awesome. Like this on Google search, you could find it's literally, this is one image. So I'm not gonna take credit on like the smoke and the palm trees in the background. That's somebody that made that on Google uh, and it looked great. Then I added basically James 23 on the bottom and then this was really cool. This was like battle warrior LeBron James. Cool thing about this one was the signature. I think it looked awesome. Then on the right side, you got Superman. So we do have like, this I believe was movie Superman, most recent movie, I guess. You do have here like evil Goku going on. You got another Hulk. So you could see like different Hulks, Kratos obviously. And then as far as the riser, we'll talk about the riser now. I always like this kind of diamond plate background that I put. In case I don't know how, like, you know, to do a, a, you know, make an artwork for it, meaning if I'm stumped, I always start out with either a diamond plate kind of background and then I work my way up. I didn't want to put, like, a bunch of pictures on the riser because the, there's a lot of pictures on the kick plate. 
So it's like if that had a bunch of pictures, I feel like it gets nauseating and then you lose it. So I wanted to keep it clean. King versus God. And then same thing. It's just like, bat and bat. And everybody's just yelling at each other. I think it's just like power. Like you could just tell like the energy off of this. So that was my vision. And honestly, that is a big thing that the customer wanted was like a lot of like intensity and like, you know, you want to feel like you get amped up when you look at the cabinet. Right side on the riser, definitely awesome. I do like how I did this. You got Kratos, again, Goku, Superman, and then the Hulk. Again, this here you can see like multi-characters because it does tie in well. But again, look, multi-characters and then one solid picture. So if I had, let's say like this whole thing down below and then the riser, I just feel like it's, it's just too many characters. I, I'm, it, it, to me, it looks nauseating, but this is perfect. You got multi-characters, one solid clean picture, and then more multi-characters. On LeBron James' side, I'm very happy with the way I did this one. It's so cool. I like this. Again, King James, more of like the anger and like the passion while playing. This was also awesome. We got King James again, fire. This one was amazing. I love this. Like evil eye with his crown on. I like how this came out. So it's kind of like a nice fiery orange. So same thing, multi, one single picture. And then up. Also forgot to note, you got the LeBron James logo there. So cool. I mean, again, it gets that in depth when it comes to artwork. This one now, as far as buns on this, he did want buns that were like gonna take a beating. So I always suggest the non LED buns. So you could just wail on these, honestly. But we did LED up top. He wanted this exact color scheme. He actually, you know, I, I say to him, listen, what buns do you want? And then write it to me. You want GYR, GYR. Do you want R, white, B, which is red, white, and blue, green, yellow, red. Um, so pretty cool. And then I do like the chrome trim LEDs up top, kind of just you know, changes it because these don't get button mashed that much as these. Um, he did want blue here. I usually put yellow for the coins, but it doesn't matter because I always do a custom. And as you can see, it's a blue button, but it's got the coin insert on it. So again, red, green, Sanwa sticks on this. And again, it's just LeBron and Kratos joining forces of evil and all that. It's, it's, it's awesome. I, I like the artwork on this. I'm very happy with it. Again, a lot of layers. So Photoshop nerds understand what I mean by layers. There's just a lot of layers going on in this, especially when I do send it out um, to get printed. The files are so big. Um, when I do send out mockups to customers, like I have to actually shrink the file because it's just so massive. But all in all, Super Shack is so happy with the artwork and I definitely cannot wait for him to start enjoying his RK cabinet. Now this is running a Raspberry Pi, so you could always lift up the control panel. You've got to see a couple of things here. Again, clean wiring as always. This right here is the nuts and bolts to keep the watt, the um, riser in place. I don't put this while I build. Uh, when I deliver it, I will make sure it's all good. And you do have also the PlayStation controllers. I just have to clean up the wiring inside the actual cabinet. I do like to have like the button for the Raspberry Pi nice and tight here. So just a little bit more but this was ready for basically the promo video. So again, 15,000 games, four player mod on it, meaning that there are two PlayStation controllers. So playing NBA Jam, Simpsons, TMNT, that is four players. So now again, um, again, I don't know the age. Super Shack was, uh, was a very big 80s fan or he's an 80s kid. So the big thing is that once you mention that, I always say like, listen, navigating a raspberry pi build it's it's intermediate level it's it's not easy one two three like a pandora's box but there is some learning there is some tutorials that's why every time i do deliver i literally sit with the customer for at least about an hour to two hours just making sure and actually letting them show me that they understand how the system works so i would even tell super shack hey load up nba jam let's play a little bit how do you exit? How do you turn off the system? How do you shut down? I do that with every customer I, I, I deliver to because again, 15,000 games, it's a lot of games. I just like to make sure that the customer is happy and understands exactly how to play their system. So NBA Jam, we do have our volume rocker here. And actually, because I'm doing this, I'm gonna show you a very funny little 
sneak peek when it comes to this specific cabinet and a Raspberry Pi build. But all in all, NBA Jam, you do have two players. So again, my NBA Jam, there's two of them, regular NBA Jam and then NBA Jam Tournament Edition. Oh no. Oh, oh, oh wow, I don't know what happened there. Pass it. Oh, not shoot it, damn it. That's the one big thing you have to kind of... Oh, 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 take it, take it, take it. Oh, oh I was trying to dunk it, but there you go, cash. Um, <laughs> I don't know what I was saying. Oh, so regular NBA Jam is two-player version. So one and two can play against each other with the arcade sticks. And then NBA Jam Tournament Edition is four-player in case you have extra friends to play with. Now I'm on the subject with NBA Jam. I'm going to bring it back real quick. And again, I do always mention to people, it is a Raspberry Pi. There's a lot of videos going on, so it does take, you know, a second for it to kind of, you know, react. I'm gonna go into Super Nintendo, and I'm gonna show you this right here. It's NBA Jam 2K17 Hacks. This is under the Hacks thing. Basically, it took NBA Jam for Super Nintendo, and it added current players as of 2017. So where am I going with this? Basically, we do have NBA Jam with LeBron. Now, again, this is a Super Nintendo game or emulation. So this doesn't require coins. As you can see, I'm pressing buttons. Nothing's happening, Vic. What's happening? You have to kind of wait for it to go. You might have to be, you know, press start or select ABC. This right now is going through its intro, so you have to let it go before you could do anything. Some people are like, hey, Vic, I'm pressing the buttons. Nothing's happening. Yes, you have to just kind of let it do its thing. So... Big thing about Super Nintendo, it's a lot of start and select usage. So this is pretty funny. Let's see, I'm gonna show you real quick. Again, this is the Super Nintendo version of NBA Jam. And if I go to Cleveland, we do have LeBron James. I don't want to, oops. Nope, wrong one. Nope. Start, see that's, it. it's, it's start. Start to start the game. So this is pretty cool. Again, we do have LeBron James on King vs. God arcade cabinet. Super Nintendo, you kind of, every game you kind of have to like figure out what button you are actually hitting or playing with. Oh, oh, wow, I just got, oh, I took the shot. Again, playing it one-handed. Oh, oh, he, okay, that's pass. I got you, I got you. We're gonna get it. Give me a second. <laughs> oh, that's a break. Come on. All right, let's see. Oh, I took the shot. Okay, good. Oh, no. <laughs> All right, playing one-handed is not my thing. But as least you can see, it is James here. There we go. We got the run. We got the run. We got the run. Oh, why did I pass? Oh, no. I was going to do it. Ah, No, I can't. I can't stop this video now. <laughs> come on, come on. Ready? Here we go. I passed again. I passed again. Okay, this is shoot, got it. Okay, there you go. Reverse dunk with LeBron James. <laughs> I'm gonna shift exit out. Again, there's so many games, 15,000 games. I never really went into the hacks, but I do remember I was like, I have a game that had like LeBron in it. And sure enough, you do have your collections wheel. So again, awesome, awesome stuff. Another build, 27 inch. Obviously it's got the LED glow. Let's talk about the LED glow. So Turn off the garage lights. Okay. So you do have marquee glow. I send him pictures. He's like, oh, hey, Vic, I sent him a picture of this was red. He's like, hey, Vic, you know, is it only red? I was like, no, it's an LED strip. So you do have multi glow, multi colors, LED strip going on. Kick plate illuminated. You do have your bag glow here. So you got marquee lit up. You got the kick plate lit up. It's just awesome because you can even see like it lights up the Super Shack a little bit off the buttons as you can see right there. Really from the top, I should say, because of the speaker grill. Um, and then you also have your rear glow when you put it up against the wall. So yes, all builds have LEDs. I don't want to give too much on that cabinet. <laughs> but yes, all builds have LEDs. And honestly, it's great. Set to slow fade. I always have these set to fade. And I believe the color on this, I have it set to red. Um, so anytime it's red, the cabinet, the buttons, I should say, will glow. Um, again, all in all, great cabinet. Turn on the garage lights. Okay. Just another great cabinet, 27 inch, going out to Far Rockaway, just waiting on Super Shack to let me know when to deliver, but 
great another great cabinet vic vp game case arcades